Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. I'm here with another game in my Philly season. The Phillies are still terrible. We're still in last place. We still have, I think, the I think we're tied for the worst record in the league with Kansas City. So we are still very bad. And we are playing the Cardinals today at home in Philadelphia. Uh, we played the first two games of the Cardinal series and we split with them. So this will be the deciding game of the series. And the second game that we lost went into extra innings, went into the 10th inning. Their uh, ghosty started out on second and then the very first guy that we faced um, hit a home run. So they had two runs and we didn't get any runs in the bottom of the 10th. So here we go. Um, the lineup for St. Louis today. It's going to be Colton Wong leading off and playing second base. Matt Carpenter will be the second batter, bat in being the DH. Paul Goldschmidt will be the third batter and play first. Um, Brad Miller will be the shortstop today, terrible defensive shortstop. But we have uh, Paul DeYoung on the IL, so he will fill in at short. Tyler O'Neill will be the left fielder today. Tommy Edmond will be the third baseman, batting sixth. Batting seventh, you've got Dexter Fowler in right field. The eighth batter is Dylan Carlson in center field. And Yachty is going to pick up the end with the uh, ninth batter and be in the catcher today. So here's Wong. The pitchers today, the pitching matchup, is Spencer Howard for our Phillies, who will be dealing to this St. Louis lineup. And the starting pitcher slated for St. Louis is Dakota Hudson. So that is a 3-8 for Wong against a righty, and that is going to be a pop-out to short. I don't know why I did that. It's a pop-out 6. So he is gone, one away. And uh, as usual, as my new system, I've got the scorecard things right here, so it'll keep track of the score so you know whenever... If you're looking away and you're doing something else while you listen to the game, you can look up and you'll see what the score is. Matt Carpenter is the batter, and he gets a 1-7, and that's going to be a fly ball center. F8, and there's two down, and that brings up Paul Goldschmidt, and he's going to get a 3-2, which is a walk. And so we have a runner aboard for the Cardinals. One on, two down, Brad Miller. And he gets a 6-5 batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. So uh, Goldschmidt walked, and then we got a strikeout for Miller, and we got to put that on Howard's record, both the walk and the strikeout. And we're going to the bottom of the uh, first inning. Now, our lineup today will be Roman Quinn leading off and playing left today. Batting second will be Hazley in center field. The third batter will be Gregorius, and he's playing shortstop. Um, the fourth batter is our cleanup man, Bruce, and he's the DH. Batting fifth will be Harper in right field. Batting sixth is Segura, the third baseman. Batting seventh will be Kingery at second base today. Batting eighth will be Hoskins, the first baseman, and Real Muto picking up the rear at catcher. And if you're asking why Real Muto with a 263 batting card um, and 29 home runs and a 337 on base is batting last, it's because he's hitting 147 this year. So here is the amazing Quinn, and he gets a 29 against a righty, and that is going to be. A home run. Roman Quinn <laughs> leads off with a jack and puts us right in a good frame of mind immediately. And uh, Hudson gives up the hit, the run, the earned run, and the home run. Adam Hazley. Hazley gets a 5-8 batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. And a strikeout for Hudson. And I will update the scores, but I will not do it in inning. So I will wait till the inning is over. D.D. Gregorius with one down. He gets a 1-9 against a righty, and that's a ground ball second base. 
So he goes out 4-3. And there are two down now. And Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce leading the world at home run 6-9 um, against the lefty. And that is going to be... Is that... It is a home run, Jay Bruce. Just no later, no sooner had I said he leads the world at home runs than he gets one. So Dakota Hudson gives up two jacks here uh, early on on two solo home runs. And Bryce Harper is the bat. And he gets a 2-8, and that is going to be a... Oh, no, he just missed it. It's a double <laughs> <laughs> it is a double for Bryce Harper. So, but I mean, they are, we're really um, all over Dakota Hudson. I got to say that. So uh, he's already given up three hits and uh, one of them's a double, two of them are homers. And Segura, the batter, gets a 4-6 batting right. And that is going to be a walk. So he is really in a lot of trouble here. Hudson walks a guy. He's allowed. I mean, this is this is a really bad start for the Cardinals. Kingery is up. Kingery should end their plight, and he does with a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes one three. But we get uh, we get two runs in the bottom of the first, and I have got to go get the the two run moniker. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so that'll denote that we have two and are leading two nothing. And Tyler O'Neill is the batter for the Cardinals here in the second against Spencer Howard, who now, um, you know, just has to keep us keep us in this game five six and uh, batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball to center. O'Neill gets the old F8. There's one down. Tommy Edmond is the batter, switch hitter. He gets a 6-3, um, and he would be batting uh, left. And that's a ground ball to the pitcher. Spencer Howard is a 3-E-0. That is an 11, so we'll have to see what that is. Um... Well, it's an e, it's a, on the air rating, and he's an E zero, so it's an out. So he goes uh, one to three, and Fowler is the batter, and that is a three eight, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So um, not only did the Cardinals get behind the eight ball with us getting two runs in the first, but they can't even seem to solve Howard, which is Kind of strange, but, um, you know, that's how it is. We're going to the bottom of the second with Hoskins up. And he gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Hudson with the K. And Real Muto is the batter. Real Muto gets a 6-8 batting right, and that is going to be a single. So Real Muto, the 147 hitter, gets a hit. That's the fourth hit allowed for Hudson already. And Roman Quinn is the batter with one down and one on. And he gets a 6-4, and he would be batting left. And that would be a catcher card, and that's Yachty. He is a 1-E-1, so um, I'm not expecting that to be anything. Um, that's an 8. Yeah, it's a it's a ground ball B actually. So um, uh, ground ball B, the uh, that's a fielder's choice, and now Quinn is the guy that is at um, first, and the uh, the out was two to four. And now Hazley is up. And Hazley gets a 2-7, which is going to be a ground ball to second, 4-3. to three. 
So we get no runs in the second. We're going to the third. Still leading in this game by the score of 2-0 and Dexter Fowler to lead off the third for the Cardinals. Against Spencer Howard, 2-7. That is going to be a strikeout. Oh, wait a minute. This is Carlson. All right, so 2-7 on Carlson is ground ball second. So that's 4-3. And Molina's up. He gets a 5-8 batting right, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for us is a 3-E32. That is a 6. 6-3 six and three at second. Hopefully that's the out, and it is 4-3. And that brings up with two down, the top of the order, Colton Watt. And he gets a 5-7 batting left, and that is going to be a single. So Colton Wong is aboard with a hit. First hit allowed for Howard right there, and it's in the third inning. And Carpenter is up. We're going to be happy to see him pitch like that. He walked, though, and so now there are two Cardinals aboard. There's two out, so hopefully he can get out of this inning without any more damage, or without any damage. But Goldschmidt is the batter, and he's a good hitter. And he gets a 3-6, and that's going to be a walk that will load the bases up for the Cardinals. So the Cardinals have the bases full right now. That's trouble. And their cleanup hitter, Brad Miller. Now, Brad Miller, uh, projected stats for 2020 would have been 437 at bats, 23 home runs, and a 245 batting average. So he gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. So that was a key strikeout right there for uh, Howard. That could have been a pivotal point in the game. And it, well, really, it was, but it might be a pivotal point uh, for us. <laughs> Didi Gregorius is going to lead off here against Dakota Hudson, who settled down after a bad first inning and didn't allow us to get much of anything in the second. So here's Gregorius. And he gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He goes out 6-3 to lead off the bottom half of the third inning for our Phillies. And Jay Bruce, who homered earlier, gets a 6-7 batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. And the second baseman is, um, for the Cardinals, is pretty good, I think. Yes, he's a 1-E-6, and that's a 16, probably an out. It is. 4-3. Bruce goes, and that brings up Harper. And he gets a 1-7, and that's going to be a walk. So Harper is aboard, and uh, Hudson has walked his second guy of the game. He's allowed six guys on. I mean, he's not pitching. He's not particularly sharp today. Segura is the batter, and he gets a 2-7, which is going to be a single and put two Phillies on. And now we got to see if we can capitalize on that. Fifth hit allowed for Hudson, and Sk Kingery up. Kingery always has to come up in these situations. But right here, it's a great situation for him because he just doubled and knocked in one run. And uh, let's see if uh, we're going to, I mean, he score. he does definitely score Harper. Segura is a running 1-14, to 14 and there are two outs. I am going to try it. And that's a three, so it doesn't matter what universe you're in, he scored. So we'll mark that down. That Segura scores. Sixth hit allowed for Hudson. The 
fourth run comes across. And Hoskins is the bat with a man up at second, and he gets a 111. And that is a ballpark jack, and that's what it is. It's a home run for Hoskins. So, yeah, I mail this one in. I think we, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm as pessimistic as the next guy, but I think we probably got this one locked up. Hudson just gave up his third jack of the game. And, uh... Yeah, it's 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 bad. And Real Muto is up. Let's see if he can join the uh, join the party. He gets a three eight, and that is going to be a home run for. Oh my God, Real Muto is coming through. And this is a crazy bad performance for uh, for Dakota Hudson. I would I'm really surprised that he's this bad. But uh, I don't know. Maybe Cardinal fans out there, you want to leave a comment? And you, you expected this. Quinn is up. Nobody on because. Uh, Real Muto just cleared the bases. And that is a 5-4 batting right, or batting left. And that's a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for them is a 2-E25. That is an 18. And that is going to finally be an out that uh, ends the inning as he goes 5-3. But... One, two, three, four, five. We get five. We strike for five runs in the third. And so now we have. This is unprecedented territory for us. We have seven runs. I mean, seven runs this quickly. I think we. I can recall recently that we got seven runs in a game, but to have seven runs this quickly and be up seven nothing. That is devastating. So Tyler O'Neill will be the guy to lead off the fourth inning. Now you got to believe Spencer Howard has a really long leash. Uh, he, that's a 2-8, and that's going to be a strikeout for O'Neill. And uh, Howard, with his third strikeout of the game, still only allowed one hit. He's only allowed one hit so far. Tommy Edmonds is the batter. He gets a 1-4. That is a fly to left. And these guys are just not doing anything. I mean, in, in, in one way, it almost doesn't matter that we scored seven if the Cardinals can't get anything off of Spencer Howard. And Dexter Fowler is the batter. He gets a 6-7. He would be batting left. And that's going to be a walk. So he is aboard. Howard walking his fourth guy. He's only allowed one hit, but he's walked four. And Dylan Carlson is the batter. 6-3. And he would be batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. And uh, that is a four. And he is a three, I believe. We said, yeah. Nope, that's still going to be on the E rating. And he's an E zero. So it is an out. And that is the end of the inning. And there will be a pitching change, certainly, for the Cardinals, as Hudson only goes three, probably trying to preserve their bullpen as much as they could, but they can't do it any longer. And they will be bringing in... They will be bringing in Jake Woodford. Now, Woodford would have would have projected based on his 2020 performance to a three and two record with a 554 earned run average and 67 hits allowed in 65 innings. And he'll face the amazing. No, he won't face the amazing Quinn. He'll face Hazley because Quinn made the last out. So here in the uh, they got nothing in the fourth. We are on to the bottom of the fourth. Seven nothing. Um, oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is, are we up? Yeah, we are, we're up in the fourth. Okay, so yeah, Hazley is the bottom. And he gets a 3-8, and that is going to be a strikeout. 
So Woodford strikes out the first man he faces. Good sign for him. Good sign for the Cardinals. Bad sign for the Cardinals. They need seven runs just to tie the game. D.D. Gregorius is up, and he gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. So he goes out 4-3. And up steps Bruce, who has a home run already this game and would like to see him get another one. Gets a 2-11, though, and that is going to be a ground ball, first base, plus injury, and it's a 10. So he is going to be out for a little while here. Uh, let's see. First base, so he goes uh, ground out three. And uh, I don't know. I, I heard maybe, I remember hearing that there's a rule that the DH shouldn't be able to get injured, but we're going to say he can just because. Um, and I will find another DH and we will slide him into the lineup and take Bruce out of the lineup. So, uh, all right, so no runs for us. In the fourth, we go to the top of the fifth. And, of course, Spencer Howard's still out there as we have a 7-0 lead, the Phillies do, in the fifth with Yadier Molina. And he gets a 5-9 batting right, and that will be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 2-E-20. That is a 17. That'll be an out. 6-3, and Colton Wong back to the top of the batting order for the Cardinals. With Colton Wong up, and he gets a 5-6 batting left. That is going to be a strikeout. Howard is, has been dominant here. Like, we got seven runs. We almost wasted those seven runs, that offense. Carpenter is up, and he gets a 6-8 batting left. And that is going to be a home run. It was a home run one, and he got it. And um, so they, the, they, the Cardinals do get on the board with a home run of their own by Carpenter, which was an unlikely homer, but it still happened. And Paul Goldschmidt, and he gets a 2-6, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. But the Cardinals do get a run in the fifth. Let's go get the one run for them. Make sure that's still in the scene. Oh, yeah, it's easily still in the scene. So, yeah. Um, and we're going to the bottom of the fifth with Bryce Harper, the batter. And he gets a 2-5, and that is going to be a single. Harper with a leadoff hit in the Phillies uh, fifth off of Woodford, which is, that's the first hit he's allowed. He's going to give the Cardinals as many innings as he can. Segura's out. Segura gets a 5-8 batting right, and that is going to be a single. So we've got the first two runners aboard. Woodford giving up his second hit, and unfortunately it's consecutive hits to lead off the bottom of the fifth inning. And Kingery, Kingery always comes up in these situations. He came through last time, though, 6-8, batting right, and that is going to be a walk, and he is going to help load the bases up with no outs here. I mean, this just has not been the Cardinals' game. Yeah, I mean, you, you really have to say that. And that brings Reese Hoskins to the point. The Reese Hoskins gets a 2-7, which is a walk and forces in a run. So Woodford walks a guy, and he allows his first run of his first run of the game, but the eighth run, that'll be for... Us. And Real Muto is up, 
He's two for two today, un unbelievably, but he grounds into a double play sh to shortstop. But that does score a run. That scores Segura. But uh, the Cardinals, you got to believe, are just happy to see the double play. And a man at third now with two down and Quinn up. And he gets a 1-5, and that's a strikeout. And Woodford K's the man. and But he does allow two more runs to come across. So we have nine runs now. Let's go get the nine. Now this is unprecedented territory for us. We don't usually score nine runs. And the game is far from over. So, this is crazy. This is, like, probably our best game of the year. Um, and really, both sides of the ball. I mean, we're pitching great. Spencer is pitching out of his mind, and we have a 9-1 to lead. Uh, Brad Miller will lead off for the Cardinals here in the sixth. Um, a lot of work for the Cardinals to do here. 5-4 batting left. That's going to be a fly to center. Our center fielder is a 4-E-1. That is a 9, so let's see what that is. Uh, that's an E1, so um, we're going to roll the bones for that. That is a 9 on an E1, which is a fly ball B. So that was Miller, right? Yeah. Fly out to 8. O'Neal is up. One down, nobody on, and he gets a 5-10 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball short. He's a 2-E-20. That is a 2. That's probably going to be a base hit. That would be my guess. And it is a single. So Miller is aboard with a hit. Or no, O'Neal. Miller got out, so yeah. O'Neal got a hit. Third hit allowed for Howard. And Edmund is up. Edmund gets a 4-3 batting left. And that is going to be an N home run. And if he is an N, and he is, that's a two-run home run. So the Cardinals, they're trying to scratch their way back here. That's the second home run given up by Spencer, by Spencer Howard, by the way. And that brings up Dexter Fowler with only one out. He gets a 2-9, and that's going to be a strikeout. So that's the second out. Again... A lot of leash here for Spencer Howard because don't want to burn up the bullpen and um, we have a still a serious lead. Dylan Carlson is the batter. He gets a 6-9 and that'll be batting, um, batting left. And that's an end home run. So Carlson, yeah, oh, wait a minute. No, he's weak. So he got a single. <laughs> wait a minute. No, hold on. No, he is normal. He is normal against a righty. Okay. So, yep, that is a home run for Carlson. So now I don't know. The leash is getting a little shorter here. Three home runs allowed for him. He was still outdone by uh, Hudson, who allowed four home runs. But Yachty. And Yachty gets a 1-8, and that's a ground ball third base for the third out. He goes 5-3. to three, But the Cardinals strike for um, three runs of their own right there. And so they have four. We'll have to put the four out there. I got it right right here
So it is nine to four. What a game this is. Uh, Hazley is going to be the leadoff hitter for us in the um, in the bottom of the sixth. But they're going to take out Woodford. Woodford's only going to go two. Especially since they're starting to claw their way back. And they will bring in John Gant. Now, John Gant would have projected to a 2-7 and seven record with a 333 earned run average in 46 innings in 2020 if it had been a full season. So we will put him in. And he's a former starter. Um, so we're going to treat him as though he could do a couple of innings. Um, Adam Hazley is the batter, as I said, here in the sixth. And he gets a 2-9, and that's going to be a ground ball second. He goes out 4-3. to three. Gregorius is the batter. Gregorius getting a 5-7, um, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. He is, as we said, very good. He is a 1-E-3. That is a 9 and that'll be on the E3, so we'll roll the dice for that, but it's still pretty good. Six. And that is going to be a ground ball A, four to three. And Jay Bruce is up. Or wait a minute. No, it isn't. It's Goslin. So now we have Goslin up. And he is coming in for the injured Bruce, who got injured back in the fourth inning. And we will roll the dice for him. He gets a 5-4 batting right. And that's going to be a catcher card. He is a 1, E1. That is a 3. Um, and that is going to be a foul out. So Goslin follows out foul out to the catcher. And we get no runs there. And the score, going to the top of the seventh now, the score is uh, uh, Cardinals four, Phillies nine. And um, top of the seventh, we've got Colton Wong at the top of the order. And we're going to still have Spencer Howard out there. He's given up some dongs, but he still has some uh, roadway. 6'11", batting left. That is going to be a ballpark single, and it is going to be a single for Colton Wong. So I don't know. The roadway is running a little, uh, little thin here now. I'm, you know, I'm for keeping a guy and getting letting him get seven innings as much as the next one. But Carpenter is the batter, and he gets a three-four, and that's a hit by pitch. So I don't know. We got we got problems here now. I'm going to say we got problems, even with a five-run lead, and especially since uh, that was, yeah, I mean. The two first two guys get on and Goldschmidt's up. And he gets a 1-9, and that's a foul out to the catcher. That may have helped save him for this inning, to get through this inning. Um, Brad Miller is the batter. Brad Miller gets a 6-5 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. So he recovered nicely, but definitely... He is not going to go past seven because he has just really gotten into bad territory here. Tyler O'Neill is up, and he gets a 4-3 batting right. And that is going to be a home run. Are you kidding me? No, you're not kidding me. It's a home run. Man, putting this into the computer is going to be time-consuming. So Howard allows a hit. Two more runs, which brings it to six. And his fourth home run of the game. 
He's got two outs. I'm going to try to see him through this one, this inning. Or wait a minute. Yeah, wait. Is that two run? No, that's three. That's three, so it should be seven runs total. Yeah. And Tommy Edmond is the batter. And he gets a 6-8, and batting um, left is a fly ball to right. F9, and uh, they get, the Cardinals get um, three runs there in the seventh. So we got to go get the seven for the Cardinals. That seven that was out there before for us, now out there for the Cardinals. And it is 9-7. It's a slam-bang scuffle here. And um, Bryce Harper is going to be the first batter in the uh, seventh for us. And Gant is going to stay out there. He gets a 2-5, which is going to be a single. So let's see if we can get some runs here. Because I don't, I'm not comfortable now with only a two-run lead, <laughs> to be frank with you. Um, Gant allows his first hit, and that's to Harper, so it's understandable. Segura's up. Segura gets a 4-12 batting right. And that is going to be a fly to right. So there's one down. And Scott Kingery up. Kingery gets a 3-5, and that's a walk. So, Kingery has actually been very good this game. I'm kind of surprised. Um, Gant walking his first guy of the game. We've got two on with one out, and Hoff is the batter. And he gets a 6-4 batting right. And that's going to be a, a ground ball to the third baseman, now that's a one, so that's going to be that could be potentially bad. <clears throat> the third baseman for them is a two e twenty five, and that's a one. I think that's probably a base hit. That is a single one asterisk, so we got the bases loaded here, just like that, with only one out. Cardinals pitching today has been abhorrent. And that brings up Real Muto with a chance <clears throat> to really do some damage here. 5'11 batting right. And that is going to be a fly to left. The left fielder is a 2E5, and that is a 9. And that's going to be on the E5, so let's roll the bones for that. That's a 7. And that is going to be a fly ball B, which does score a run. So we get a run. And that's in the form of Harper, who comes across the plate. And the first run allowed for Gant. I'm not going to say I'm feeling okay about this now, but <laughs> Quinn is up with uh, two down. And let's, let's position this. And that is a 6-8, and he'll be batting left, and that is going to be a walk to load him back up again. I'm glad I got this game on, on video, because this is a hell of a game. <laughs> um, Adam Hazley, here he is, Hazley again. He gets a 5-6 batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball right field and the final out. But we get a run, and so now we have 10, so i got to go get the combination of the 1 and the 0. And there it is. Ten nothing. Ten. No, it's not. <laughs> I wish it was ten nothing. It's ten seven. 
And we are taking uh, Howard out. Howard is only going to go seven. It was seven very adventurous innings. And uh, he's only winning because we, we really went over and above in scoring for him. But I am going to bring in Hector Neris to pitch. And Fowler is going to lead off for the Cardinals in the eighth against Hector Neris. He gets a 6-7 batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball second baseman. Our second baseman is a 3E32. That's a 15. And that's going to be a ground ball out. Bringing up Dylan Carlson with one down and nobody aboard. And he gets a 510, and he would be batting left. And that would be a an out. It'll be a fly ball to right. And up steps Molina with two down, nobody aboard. And he gets a 5-5 five, five batting right. And that's going to be a fly ball center. No runs come in for the Cardinals in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. And Gregorius is the batter. And uh, Gant, yeah, we'll take Gant out. So Gant only goes two. And they will bring in Giovanni Gallegos. Uh, he would have projected to a 352 earned run average in 46 innings. And uh, he's facing Gregorius. And that is a 5-7 batting left. And that is going to be a single. Single for Gregorius off Gallegos if you're if you're scoring at home and not getting tongue tied on that one. Phil Goslin. Phil Goslin, the replacement DH, gets a 2-4, which is a um, it's gonna be a fly ball to right. F9, there is one down. Bryce Harper, 5-4, batting left is uh, going to be a uh, fly to center. Their center fielder is a 3E3. That is a 12. That's going to be on the uh, E3. And that is a 7. And that is going to be a fly ball. So that's an F8 for Harper. And that brings up Segura. And Segura gets a 5'11 batting right. And that's going to be a... That's going to be an out. It's going to be a line out to second base. It was a ballpark single, but it didn't come through. So No runs... For us in the eighth, and that brings up the Cardinals in the ninth. They need three runs to win this thing. I'm going to keep Neris out there. And Colton Wong up. And he gets a 1-6, and that is going to be a single, I believe it is. Neris just gave up his first hit. This is only his second inning of work, the start of his second inning of work. Matt Carpenter is up. He gets a 111, and that's going to be a ballpark single. 
So there are two runners aboard, and this is not good people. Neris has given up the, he's allowed the first two guys to get aboard, and Goldschmidt is up. Goldschmidt gets a strikeout, thankfully. So there's one down, and two guys on. Brad Miller up. Brad Miller gets a 211, which is a fly to right. And it all comes down to this. It's Tyler O'Neill who has homered this game. And he gets a 2-9, but that's a strikeout for him. And so um, Neris does come through with uh, two strikeouts and uh, got the last three guys out after allowing the first two aboard. And that is going to be your final score. It doesn't get any better than this. We win this game by the score of 10 to 7. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.